mm, mm. I, I don't want to say like no I don't and then people see me like at a brewery like okay if we're like at a new brewery sometimes I feel like obligated to dry a beer or something but <laughs> yes Kiva Kiva is hot <laughs> so funny um um but like I just don't really love the taste like I like beers like kind of okay if like people are drinking like okay maybe but I just don't like love the taste champagne kind of is like the only thing that I liked like maybe for celebrations but um Reese Cooper thank you for subscribing but we've been doing sparkling cider lately and that's like literally my favorite thing it's literally juice we finished the whole bottle love the headband that same one thanks I got it from my sister from Christmas but we're trying out the elf beauty blender today okay so Let's see how this works. I had a really dark foundation on yesterday that just was like really a not the luck for me. I love the shirt. It's at Pack Sun right now. Thank you. I just got it. I was like really surprised. Usually my last shirts are all like not that really absorbed the water good. I just wet it. Oh, it's cold. That's cold. Um But yeah, they had this at Pack Sun and I was like, okay, mainstream lost. You look so beautiful. Oh my God, Janelle, thank you so much. You're so sweet. I feel, I feel, I feel beautiful. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't ever want to put myself down anymore. Cause like it just, I do feel good lately. And I used to want to be like self deprecating. Cause like, I was like, well, I don't want anyone to think I'm like hot shit or whatever that I think I'm hot shit, but we should all think that we're hot shit, right? Like we should all think that. Hi Trish. Hi Lemon Hills. How are you? I like this beauty blender. It just doesn't cover enough on my face, you know? Mercedes, how are you doing? Self-love is number one. Got ourselves a sample from out. Exactly. I never, never want to put myself down in front of her, especially because I want her to know that she is always beautiful no matter what. Baby, I'm not even here. Thank you for subscribing. Jane! We missed you yesterday. I don't think you were in here. My side is, girl, you're glowing. Thanks, baby. I'm not even here. Thank you for being a new subscriber. I am going to be in the live chat tonight on my ASMR channel. Definitely. 100,000 million percent. Because um, I haven't been lately. I missed it. The past few times, but... Ooh, ASMR here. Kind of is, right? Are you talking about this beauty blender? Cause it's kind of ASMR. -y. Is that a beauty blender? Yeah, it's the Elf one. I don't know if I like love, but um, I'm trying it out today. I bought it, so I was like, you know what? Let me just use. I don't know if I love beauty blenders though. Maybe I should go back to brushes. What kind of? Do you guys use foundation brushes? Sean, Paul, Adina, thank you for subscribing. Do you guys use brushes or Moses in the chats? Moses, Mercedes, Jane. We are, why does this look so tan? We are the, oh geez. I'm getting a kitten. What do I name her? I think you should name your kitten Mins. <laughs> I straight up use my fingers, clean them right before. Yeah, I mean, I kind of love that too. I think it will kind of blend better because I don't know why this kind of is giving me cracked. Moses, we have not been in a live chat in so long for ASMR. We are going to be there tonight. Oh, we've just been so off schedule this month. It's so weird, like filming, like even today, it's a Thursday. And it's why I haven't been live in a while. We were live yesterday, but like, it's just been such a weird, like that bit, all good. And it's gonna be, we're gonna even be more thrown off schedule pretty soon because we have like a big project we're doing in April, but we kind of have to like prepare for March for it. We missed you in the chat. Oh, I know. Because ASMR is like my home. That's like my baby. That's like where I like love it the most. So we'll be in there tonight because we have a parent trap one. Caroline and Maria, thank you so much for subscribing. Um, for everyone who resubscribed, thank you much. Muy apreciado. You should do a Tibetan god. Wait, it was a god or good? Tibetan. Is it good? Maybe we got mukbang. What does that mean? You know, I'm always open to new things. Inspired by Satori. Thank you for being a new subscriber. You guys, it's a subscription only, subscriber only um, chat. So 
If you wanna chat, then just say hi. Slim Sadie, eight ninety. Yo, I'm Slim Sadie. Yes, I'm the real Sadie. I think they. Oh, oh, Tibetan food. Good call. Cause I'm like Tibetan. Good Tibetan food. I don't know where we'd get it. So much better with the supplement chat. So much better. I freaking love, like, of all the things I do, like, honestly, TikTok Live is, like, my favorite because it's just so positive. Like, it's really just, like, everyone's so happy and positive, and I really love it in here. Inspired by Satori. Yeah, I haven't gone live on YouTube in so long because I just love, like, rat talk. Thank you for being a new subscriber. Do you have any advice on how to move past guilt let me see you, it's hard time when you start feeling guilty you know you really look there are steps of it right why do you feel guilty were you in the wrong or do you just have a guilty like do you just feel guilty like i'm someone who just feels guilty if i don't spend enough time with someone like you know i just have like that where we kind of like self-impose guilt and then there's times when i've been like wrong and i feel guilty look if you can write your wrong and like that's the first step. You got to forgive yourself ultimately. Like, right. If you're trying to like ask for forgiveness or you're trying to like right and wrong and someone doesn't accept it, you just got to accept it for yourself and move on. And ultimately when you've done the work, either you moved on, you haven't, you know, really, you just got to remember that like you, you got to look out for you and like, you know, always hurts. Cause even if you're responsible for someone else, like if you're not taking care of yourself first then you're not taking care of anyone else around you, you know what I mean? Your family, all that. Um, I feel guilty for everything. I think it goes both ways. Sometimes I'm wrong. Yeah, I mean, I, I've definitely felt guilt too for like things that I shouldn't feel guilty for. And it's just like one of those things where you just got to like really think about something else and just be like, you know what? Like, I don't have to feel guilty for this. Silky mom TikTok. What's silky mom? Explain it to me. I haven't seen it. Um, Cardis plug 20, rat whack, slim Sadie, inspired by Tori, Carolyn and Maria, that bit, Sean Palladino, J Beam 2828, Lemon Hills, Reese Cooper. Thank you for being new subscribers self-care and meditation get rid of guilt yeah i think that's really it just really clear that mind trent devon thank you silky is opposite of crunchy mom i want to look it up now <laughs> should i look it up So I guess, oh, Silky Mom's like luxury mom. Okay. Am I back? I just got diagnosed. User 10001001. Thank you so much for being a new subscriber. I just got diagnosed with a multi with borderline personality and I'm on a wait list for DBT therapy. Any tips on workbooks? There's a ton on Amazon. Obviously I'm not a doctor and DBT is gonna like change your life. Um, but there's a ton of DBT workbooks on there. There's like a green one. I don't know the name. I'll have to like get it and tell you. Um, but there's like just all the ones on Amazon that pop up as like the first. I bought so many. Um, and they really help so much. Like I, I really just couldn't get myself together. Um, a couple years ago, like I just, my emotions got the best of me every time. And I'm just like, wow, I'll never get over this, but there's definitely hope. You definitely will. Um, and the fact that you're like already on a wait list for DVD classes, you're already looking into workbooks. Like it's going to help so much. The best thing I can say for borderlines, you know, I call it meditation, but if you go to DBT, they'll call it a wise mind, which is like breathing techniques. Um, and just really focusing on your breath and really taking breaths and giving yourself just a clear head and a clear space without any thoughts, good or bad. You know what I mean? That's the best way you can be. Um, my husband is like so smart with this kind of stuff with like wise mind and meditation and just consciousness and all stuff like that. My boyfriend Ben sings I love you Jesus Moses all the time. You know what? When I do cameos, people always ask me to sing I love you Jesus, I love you Moses. And now with Passover coming up, I feel like I love you Moses is like making a comeback. I use the Makeup Mario foundation. I love it, but I definitely should probably get... Well, I'm trying to... Maybe you know what? I'm trying to tan again. So maybe I should get a tanner one because I need a tan. We start filming again for like a show. And I just need to like get tan again because like honestly, I don't mind the pale skin like in the winter, but like... It's now getting to be summer. I need to be, I need some little color, you know? 
finding time. Thank you for not being a beige mom. I love seeing Malibu brown my color. You know what? They, people made me feel bad for being, um, Pausing because I keep making notes. I'm sorry. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. She's making notes. LOL. I'm back. Yeah. Okay. So I usually have a second phone. I literally have to find this phone because I usually have a second phone where I can like make notes on this phone. I need to get on that. But um, sorry. Yeah. I'm making notes. It's like I have this like weird like I don't know what you would call it. I don't I don't know. It's a little form of OCD where I like have to make notes. Like if someone's talking to me mid sentence, like I have to make a note. If they're off, I'm watching a show. Like I have to make a note. Like I really try and turn off. Like that's why I need to practice meditation more. Um, <laughs> because I'm very like. My, my mind does go a lot, which is like not necessarily like a bad thing, but it's not really a good thing either. It's organization. Yes. ADD brain. Kind of. Yeah. Um, organization. Yeah. I, I am like, it's weird. My notes are like, if you saw my notes, you'd be like, cause people are like, why don't you use calendar? Why don't you use this? But like, I don't know the way I organize my notes is like so much easier for me. I don't know. I have too many thoughts in my head. I need notes also. It's just so good. You know what I mean? Like notes are just the best. It's my favorite app. You're going, you look so beautiful. Thank you. I'm the exact same. Okay, well, I'm glad to know other people are like this too. Cause like literally sometimes like even in the shower, I have to like jump out of the shower. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it's so weird to do my makeup on a Thursday, but like, I'm actually gonna take off tomorrow. Cause we have like a lot of phone calls. Um, I actually have another phone. I have like a lot of calls tomorrow. So notes are better than calendars. Calendars are good. Thanks babe. This is why, this is why we're the best partners. Moses, I love you. I love you, Moses. Maybe I should write a song about that. Oh, wait, I already did. <laughs> that was so great. Gosh, you know, sometimes I'm so reminiscent. Last night I was like that too, of like when we first started dating. And if you're like newly dating somebody, really enjoy it. I feel like I have read The Power of Now. I love it, actually. I think Moses got that book for me originally. Um, but really enjoy those beginning moments. And then if you are in a relationship, really enjoy like those beginning months, like once you're actually officially in a relationship. Because like I look back at that time, and God, I really wish I would have like enjoyed us more, you know what I mean? And I did, but it's like, God, I wish I would have been more present, more this, you know? Because those moments you look back on, I be seven, eight, Four, three. Thank you for subscribing. Yes, we are going to homeschool Malibu for sure. I follow Rebe Hardy here on um, TikTok. She does Gothic Baby. She's also Matt Hardy's wife. She's also just like a kick-ass person. She like designs like, um, I think she designs pinball machines. Um, she has three boys and a girl, which is Gothic Baby Boss Glam Boutique. Thank you for subscribing. Um, but she homeschools her kids and she just did a day in the life and I was like, wow, she looks like she has it all together. So we're definitely going to homeschool her. Um, I love gothic baby me too she's kind of everything um and i love her mom i love their whole house it's like so like theme and like oh uh, uh, that's us like we love to be a themed house so yeah we love her um but yeah she homeschools her kids and it just looks like so great we also follow another couple i think their name are marcus and oh god i like i actually followed the girl more than the the wife more than the husband and now i can't think of her name He's Marcus Hall and she is, do you guys know who I'm talking about? Marcus and they have like a big house in Vegas. They have three boys. They homeschool as well. And I, I can even, I know the name of their kids even. Uh, oh my gosh. What time is it everybody? I know I gotta get going soon. <laughs> I'm like not even done with my makeup. I can't remember now either. What is their name? Is it Ashley? I think it might be Ashley Hall. Marcus and Ashley. I really like them. I mean, oh, and they homeschool their kids too. So I was like, um, and I think the Ballingers, I think Jessica Ballinger also homeschools her children. I'm pretty sure. And I think I kind of love that. Like, you know, cause I just did not have a great time with the public school system here in America. And it kind of like, I just don't want my daughter. Like it kind of did traumatize me. My school life kind of traumatized me. So I do not want that for my daughter. Hi, Liam. Been watching you for years. Did we get a time? I don't know why I can't see the time on my phone when I'm live. It's so annoying. Of 
courses, I always mess up. The school, yeah, all the school violence. Mm -mm. That stuff is so scary. It scared me when I was a little kid. With Columbine, it traumatized me. 11.36, oh, 10.36. Okay, thank y'all. Thanks, guys. 10.36, thanks. thanks, Jane. Sorry, it's so annoying that I don't have it on my phone and I honestly have a second phone and I should be using it. I also have an Apple Watch that I wear and I'm not wearing it now, so. Love that for me. <laughs> um... Thank you guys, 136 here in North Carolina. What are you guys doing right now? Brooke, Ashley Hall, and Marco Hall. Thank you, Marco. I like them. They're pretty cool. Um, I also love Cass Holland, golf cart girl here on TikTok. She's my favorite. Whenever she pops up, I get super excited. She's literally so bubbly all the time, and I'm just, I live for that so much. Please write another book. Okay, I am. I had 30,000 words done, and then I just kind of stopped, so... I'm currently waiting for my manager to give me work, work from home vibes. I love that so much. Favorite bag you ever bought? Um, oof. I have a really great collection of Louis Vuitton, like early 2000s bags, and I'm looking for them in our garage. <laughs> or I want to look for them. Babe, if you're still here, Moe's, let's make that a plan and try and find these Louis Vuitton boxes because like I know they're in there and I want these bags so bad. I see them all the time. They're so Y2K vibes. I have them. But lately I got this gold Prada one, which was like, I probably shouldn't have bought because it's not really in our budget, but it is really pretty. It's really beautiful, but I'm, I'm really not. I'm really on a, a, a spending freeze for real because like we have goals. We have aspirations. We're trying to travel. We're trying to buy another house. We're trying to do all that. So um, what are your thoughts on de-influencing? I don't really know what that means, but I would love to be enlightened on it, but hi Vinny. I am doing great. How are you? It's a three day old weekend this weekend, but for us, it's going to be kind of like a four day weekend because I'm taking off tomorrow. Hence why I'm doing my makeup today. Yesterday was a disaster with this, with the bottom lashes. So love to hear about your budget. Look at them as investments that you can resell later. I totally agree. I'm trying to um, sell. Like, I have a couple Birkins that I'm trying to sell, and they're actually, like, really hard to sell right now. So, I'm like, um, I thought I would just be able to cash these in, no questions asked. But, honestly, they're kind of hard to sell. Unless you, like, go through a seller. Like, people are kind of, like, hesitant to buy Birkins, which I totally get. I'd be the same way. But yeah, I'm trying, you know. Next place you want to travel. Moses did an amazing job making Malibu's paper magical. It was amazing. It was so good. It was amazing. Yeah, there's... Oh, oh, the vlog. Yeah, the vlog just went up. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I was going to be there for the live. I forgot. I got to make these notes. It's so late when I put those up. Um, He did so good. And then someone said, where do you want to travel next? I think Bora Bora. I am craving a Vegas trip to see... My fave, Don Yasmin, has been on my mind. Um, we want to go to Italy. We want to go to Tokyo. We want to go to Israel. I want to go to Paris. Um, I just really want to travel, so I'm, like, really trying to hit that lottery. You know what I'm saying? Um, because if we hit the lottery, we're going to just travel for the next year. Have you ever got – oh, Tibet. That would be a good one. Have you ever got lash extensions? Yes, I used to get them. I like them, but they just are too much upkeep for me personally. Um, but, yeah. Did you hear the new Lana Del Rey song? No, I haven't heard. I don't keep up that much with Lana Del Rey. Should I? Hi, Rachel and Cody. How many kids? I would love three. <laughs> and I think three would be the max, especially because I've had my first child through C-section. I'll probably have the other one through C-section. Um, so that's kind of like the healthy recommended for C-section, like three children. So um, bring back the tinsel hair. I was just thinking about tinsel hair. Oh, I would love to. Maybe I'll get that for like the spring. Um, but yeah. What was it just? Someone just said something. I was thinking about the tinsel hair now, but before the tinsel hair, hold on, let me go. Oh man, new book about how many kids? Oh, yeah. So uh, I feel like I feel like right now we're thinking like two, but I really want three. If I'm being completely honest, like I loved being three kids. Um, I don't know, Moses. If you're still on here, you can chime in. 
I feel like Moses is kind of set with two <laughs> if we're lucky enough to have a second. Um, I mean, obviously Malibu is just like the cutest thing ever. So I just want to keep creating babies because I'm just like, wow, we create really good babies. But uh, again, see what my hubby says. I'm not going to overline this. Malibu is adorable. She's just like so cute. Like I can't, her personality is just so unique. And I'm just like, I love it. Annie Ventralin, thank you for subscribing. Analyze people based on their face shape. No, I haven't seen that. I love that lipstick. This is the best. This is Mario Sam. What contour are you wearing? I'm wearing um, Charlotte Tilbury, the wand. And then I am wearing uh, Hula for the powder. <sighs> yeah, this lipstick is kind of everything, actually. And then I kind of just go through and line it real quick. Pretty basic. I love this pencil and I like hate to use it because it's almost done. Um, said you have a creative face. I love that. Well, that's nice. I have to watch it. Do you know her name? I have to check it out. Your makeup looks so good. Thanks, guys. I do it pretty quick these days, which I love. I love, I love doing my makeup. It's super therapeutic. I love being in a routine. I have such a routine. I had it during pregnancy, and I feel like that's why I was so happy during pregnancy. And now with a child, like, I just love to have a routine, you know? Like, I love it. And I never had a routine before, and I think that's why I always felt, like, chaos in my life. But I seriously, like, I love it so much. I love the routine of it all. I love it Okay, I always put like a pencil sharpener wherever pencils are. So like my lip pencils, my eye pencils, I have two, I have a pencil sharpener on hand. Okay, so then I'm just gonna get our, okay, and then just kind of feather that in. We are gonna eat after this, so I'm not gonna do like a gloss or anything cause I will literally defeat the hurt his. I'm gonna kind of all in that in. Yeah, I saw someone do the liner after the lipstick and I was like, okay, bet. Are you enjoying your beautiful, living in your beautiful home? Absolutely. The number one thing that I'm the most grateful for, well, it's Malibu, Moses, and then our house. Obviously my family too, and then our house. Like I'm so, so grateful for this house. It's so beautiful. Mustard522, thank you for subscribing. Shout out to all the new subscribers, by the way. Um, Let's see. New subscribers, Mustard522, Annie Venti, Hambone420, Raleigh Jefferson, Boss Glam Boutique, user 11010011100, Emily Hobbs, Trent Devon, Curtis Plug. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Um, okay, so that's gonna actually do it for my makeup today. Thank you guys for doing makeup with me. I'll try and do it more often because I am gonna do my makeup Saturday too. So I'm definitely gonna be live more often. I've missed you guys. For those of you who are going, thanks guys. For those of you who have been subscribed since the beginning, I really, really appreciate you. I love the subscriber only. Yeah, it feels like we're FaceTiming. So I've only chat, so positive. Like it's just the best. Like it is just the best. I am just a no one. Stop spreading. Okay. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Get your Alex Earl Starbucks. Yes, always. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video or in the next live. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm a YouTuber. Bye, guys.